Hi. So right now what I got going is I got this D1 R32. It's an ESP32 board. Um, cost me like $20, $22, for three of them. So like whatever, six, seven dollars each. As opposed to uh, the CSB1, if you buy it, it's over $100. Uh, ready made with all the software and that but as I said in my previous video I ended up buying five of them cost me like 165 for all five of course this guy has a built-in uh, uh, power the booster or the shield and this one does not but again it's seven dollars and then if you buy the uh, this is the regular power shield so that's plugged on to uh, one of these and you can see here this the tiny display so I, I installed the uh, the EX software and uh, let me tell you five minutes you're up and going so it just goes to show you this uh, an alternative and it comes cheap maybe seven eight dollars for the ESP32 and then another seven eight ten dollars for the uh, the cheap uh, booster but uh, again you can maybe buy uh, the shield the 8874 I think it is or else Hans Tanner's uh, power shield and uh, that's uh, becomes a reasonable price compared to a, you know, a ready to go one a CSB one, because basically it comes out to the same thing. The only thing is you would need, you know, like a taller case to put it away. So uh, as you can see on this shield there, it has the connection for uh, the screen. So uh, just a little wires, a little loose, so it goes out. But uh, yeah, it works. I can use my phone, turn it on and off and run trains. So this goes to show you there's a, a cheaper alternative and a very quick. Thank you. Bye.